Well, welcome to our May grand tour of Gardener's Cottage here in the coastal village of Blakeney. We're going to give you a full guided tour this morning of this cottage. Usually photographs and videos really nicely in May. It's one of my favourite months to come and spend in Blakeney. So let's go into this uh, five bedroom cottage through the front door and show you Gardener's Cottage. You come in through that front door into this passageway with the stairs to your left and the snug off to your left also. But we're going to come round to that room in a minute. Let's make our way through to the principal downstairs entertaining space here at Gardener's which is the real wow in this cottage. You come through that short corridor and are greeted by this lovely large kitchen and entertaining space. It's the principal room in the downstairs here at uh, Gardener's Cottage. We've kitted this cottage out to make your stay as comfortable as possible. And we've also included quite a few vintage and antiques pieces, including some lovely blue and white pieces, including some Dalton Norfolk ware, which we'll show you in just a minute. The decoration in this room is themed on coast and Blakeney and uh, a lot of the artworks, local little uh, period pictures of the Blakeney High Street and the surrounding villages. In the centre of the kitchen is this large island unit with double butler's sink and there's a dishwasher just hidden in the uh, front aspect there. On the back wall now we've provided this little service area with a uh, big toaster and the bread bin. Cupboards for your storage above, wine fridge tucked in there nicely. We've also uh, thought of what you're going to do while you're here, which is hopefully have lots of lovely trips out and picnics. And you've got a lovely series of uh, vintage wicker picnic baskets that uh, you're encouraged to use and take out with you. Please do clean them after you've been out for the next uh, arrival. This kitchen really gives a lovely space with open aspects with these big French windows over onto the cottage garden beyond. In summer, it's lovely to have this dual aspect uh, French windows open. And uh, to the left is the garden, to the right, the little courtyard, which we'll show you a little more of in a bit. Hidden in that cupboard is a lovely big, uh, large flat screen TV with DVD player. We've got an overspill fridge here, which is a new addition this year allowing guests who have uh, food deliveries, if you are self-catering, not to have a fridge crisis at any one time. The south-facing part wall garden on the back of gardeners is a real wow. And there's new garden furniture painted and ready for your use together with that large barbecue area. So straight access from the kitchen right into the garden here. Two coffee machines, because we know how important a good cup of coffee is when you're away on holiday. Pod machine and a ground coffee machine. So if you are a coffee fan, we provide a starter pack for each, but do bring your favourite blend of coffee with you. We've also introduced a lot of houseplants here over the last year. Try and give you that homely feel again. So some succulents and uh, more in here in the little snug area. Two lovely, soft, squishy, comfortable sofas. Lovely view out of the front of gardeners overlooking the old thatch cottage back lane in Blakeney here. You're really nicely secluded and the garden here is completely enclosed and uh, dog friendly. This is a dog friendly cottage and uh, we know how important it is that you can relax and feel safe when you let your dog out into the garden. We've introduced new features for 2024 in this room. Large TV's been added, log burner still there. Lovely selection of family-friendly DVDs have also been provided. And uh, Kate's in the process of theming this room on a garden floral theme. And we're producing a picture wall, which is being extended as we come across these uh, lovely little prints to uh, really coat this room in garden-themed uh, prints. More succulents give you that homely feel, we hope. Back into where we started the tour now, the entrance hall. Coat rack, mirror, boot store. I'm going to go right now and show you what's down this corridor. Two downstairs bedrooms. Let's start on the smaller one, which I hope you'll agree isn't mean at all. Large king-size painted pine bed, dual bedsides with bedside lamps. 
We've got a seating area in here, two lovely old style wing armchairs with a further TV hidden in that little cabinet there. And this downstairs bedroom has access with uh, matching French windows onto that little courtyard we showed you later. This time of year you're greeted out of your window by droops of wisteria and uh, May Gold Rose. Absolutely looking lovely in the morning sunshine here. There's a little seating area in that patio. That's the door opening off the kitchen where we uh, showed you earlier. Wardrobe area in here, looking back towards the corridor. And then behind me, we've got the utility room. Unusual to have a utility area off a bedroom, but this house just lent its design to that. You've got a full-size washing machine and tumble dryer here with a sink area. There's also storage in here for uh, overflow toilet rolls and a few other bits and bobs that you may want to come and use while you're here. Uh, in that cupboard is the mains electricity board, so if you have any problems with bulbs tripping any fuses, that's where they're located. Lots of high chairs, five or six I think in total here. Uh, a further boot storage and uh, laundry drying area. There is also a line in the courtyard that we showed you. Now let me take you through to two more rooms we've got to show you on the downstairs of this cottage. This room's been themed again on a sort of coastal theme with uh, Peter Scott prints and uh, wildlife scenes including geese and ducks. Back looking towards the kitchen on the long view, to your right is the downstairs bathroom. Toilet, wash basin, high level WC and a downstairs bath with blinds overlooking that little courtyard. Again themed on the Blakeney theme, lovely little print here of Blakeney High Street. I think that's uh, quite some time ago but it hasn't changed very much. Let's go through to the other main downstairs bedroom here at Gardeners. This is my favourite downstairs room. The four poster bed. Beautifully made up, ready for guests who are arriving here this afternoon actually. Again, we've uh, decorated this on a coastal theme. I think that always reminds us of uh, Wells, that uh, oil painting, but I don't think it actually is. Looking back towards corridor mirror, most gorgeous fitted wardrobe tv also in this room at the moment and uh, again prints of uh, coastal scenes and estuaries coming through into the downstairs shower and bathroom which is the final room to show you downstairs well fitted with a nice corner walk-in shower and you've got that gorgeous pedestal footed cast iron bath with taps above it. Again, this room's themed on a coastal theme with Peter Scott prints. First one of those was brought to me by my uncle who worked for Peter Scott for a period of time at Slimbridge Wildfowl Trust. So we've always had a soft spot for Peter Scott. So whenever we see prints coming through, we do buy them for uh, this house. Lovely sand dune pictures on the back wall there always remind me of uh, the dunes at Wales. So we try and make you feel at home on the Norfolk coast when you come and stay. Let's go upstairs and see the other three bedrooms and two bathrooms up there next. Well I'm back at the front door now and just to your left you're greeted by the painted wooden staircase that brings you upstairs onto the landing here at Gardeners. More blue and white vintage china. I'm going to go off to the left first to show you these two rooms to your left behind is the shared bathroom for this floor. Velux window, low level toilet, wash basin, heated towel rail. There's underfloor heating in all these bathrooms. And then we've got this shower screen overlying a bath. So this can be used as both bath and shower room. Coming out of this bathroom immediately to your left is the smaller of the uh, three bedrooms up here. Single bed under the eaves. Lovely views looking down over the cottage garden and the patio area. Gorgeous and sunny aspect this looking due south. And then tucked round to your left a double bed again with access just under the eaves. Nice room this. We've uh, used it on a couple of occasions. It's absolutely peaceful. That garden doesn't uh, get overlooked at all and it's really 
nice and dark and very peaceful. Now this is the large family bedroom up here. This massive three foot Victorian bed, I think it is, of the, uh, the acorn pinnacles on the end. is a thing of absolute splendor to sleep in. Plenty of depth in there, lovely big king size mattress. And we've got two singles in here, which you can choose either to use or not to use. But it does give you the option, if you're coming away with very young kids, to have them uh, sleep in with you if they're unsettled in a strange environment. Looking down to the north, you look down into our courtyard. And beyond this, just to give you some idea of where you are in Blakeney, is the car park on the high street. And that's the high street just making its way down towards the quay in the far distance beyond. On the other aspect, again, you're looking due south down into the wall garden here. Gardeners, it's just, just starting to come out beautifully now. And flower, which will be continued for the rest of the summer. You get to have some of those roses come out. I'm going to make my way back along the corridor now. Little seating area at the top here just tucked itself in overlooking the views back towards the car park. And this is the master upstairs bedroom. I also think this is slightly French in its styling. Upright mirror, small squat wardrobe in the corner. Again, you're looking north here. In certain days, just in that little dip in the greenery in the distance, you can see the actual sea on the coast, but it's not really, uh, we don't claim coastal views because uh, you'd have to get on the, the roof really to make the most of them. Looking back in towards this bedroom though, you'll see just how comfortable and well appointed this is with that lovely upholstered French style bed. Bedsides again here, another single bed to give you the option to use this as a family room with a little seating area for morning coffee or just somewhere to come and read. And then tucked in just behind this door. Again, we've got a lovely ensuite bath and shower room with pedestal footed bath, wash basin, lovely boards, giving this room some added character and a low level toilet. And in the corner, a very new, new and nice shower that's been uh, replaced during the last 12 months. So that's all the rooms shown to you as they have been fitted out, decorated and themed here at Gardener's Cottage. Just a quick little bit of the garden to show you next. So let's take you outside and show you one of the uh, principal attractive features here at Blakeney. I'm going to make my way out through this French door, which is probably what you will end up doing if you come and stay with us here at Blakeney. We've extended this uh, patio quite a lot at the end of last season because we were getting very overgrown and it was uh, quite claustrophobic in parts with the mature shrubs that we've got now. So we've extended the gravel area so that it runs right the way along the back of the cottage and that gives you access from these two French windows out into this garden area which we fitted out with sun lounges, barbecue and some nice garden furniture for you to come and enjoy the afternoon and morning sunshine here at Blakeney. Now, in addition to the graveled area, you've also got this lawned area and you can see the walls that run down the westerly aspect of this garden. It's also fenced really well on both the east, west and south aspects. So it's dog friendly, child friendly, and you can let your uh, pets out here. Got a flurry of pigeons that I'm upsetting coming out here. Along the front of the cottage is the gravelled area with parking for up to four or five vehicles. This is all off-road, secure again with a five bar gate. And this again has been meshed so that it's small dog safe and friendly. So that concludes our tour of Gardener's Cottage here on uh, Back Lane and Coronation Lane at Blakeney. I hope you've enjoyed the tour this morning. Thanks for watching. Further details of the cottage can be found from the links below. We'll take you through to the Gardener's Cottage Blakeney Cottage website. And thanks for watching.